InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Hey, Russell, what do you, what do you know about Billy Donovan now that you didn't know the, the day he was hired? Um, just how um, intense and how important our relationships are. Um, obviously, him coming in and trying to create a relationship with all the guys is important. Um, and for me, just talking to him over the summer and now, kind of creating a relationship is, is important for him. Russ, can just talk, uh, are you surprised at all the with the progression Kevin made from his off-season surgery to now already being ready to take the court? Uh, not at all. I mean, I'm, I've seen him over the summer, you know, each week, a month, uh, just seeing him progress every every week and him working at it and kind of getting back to his normal self was um, something I've seen in the, in, in the process. Russ, you, in a lot of ways, you took your game to the next level last year while he was out. How do you meld your game back with him now that he's back? Um, I wouldn't meld back. What does that mean? How do you find your groove with him again now that you're home? Like, I mean, it's easy. I mean, we've been playing together for eight years. It's, um, it's not rocket science. Um, my job is to find a way to help us win. And Kevin, obviously, him being on the floor makes it a lot easier for myself and everybody else on the floor. Um, and it's something that we're – we're used to doing. Uh, we've been playing with each other for a very long time. We we know how to get each other back going. We know how to find our rhythm. Yeah, Russ, what was your Paris trip like, and uh, how important was that in terms of building the brand and the stuff you're trying to do off the court? Paris was great. Fashion Week was great. Um, did a great job of just going out there, networking with different people, um, and, and obviously um, trying to figure out how to do different things in fashion. Uh, it was great. Um, I was able to do a lot of different things. Hey, Russ, do you have any um, individual goals that, you know, you have for the season? And also, what did you really work on this off offseason? Uh, individually, uh, just come back, man, and um, find a way to help us win the championship. I think um, at this point, individually, um, that's my main goal. Um, and that's kind of goes over for the team as well. Just try to come out and try to find a way to help us win games, um, help us win as many games as possible. Anything that, that all the trials and tribulations you guys went through as a team last year, all the injuries, anything you learned from that, learned from that that you can help take to this year that will help you guys team-wise? Uh, definitely. I think um, with the injuries and different things of, of that nature happened last year, uh, we were able to find out and see what guys are made of. Um, a lot of guys stepped up uh, with trades and all the different things that happened to us last year. You were able to see different guys step up, different guys uh, play better. Um, and so I think it's going to help us once we have everybody healthy and have everybody back. Russell, uh, last week Sam was talking about how um, you're getting to the point as an athlete where it's harder to see those those strides and those gains in your game. Um, are there are there things that you're working on that are larger gains, or are you working on smaller improvements to your game as your career goes on? Smaller. Um, I mean, my it's important that you once you get constantly keep getting each each year you find different things and different nits of your game that you want to get better at uh whether it's working on your balance working on on different things that I can do to be able to to be more effective uh Russell the uh UCLA get together what uh benefits have you already seen from that as a team Say it again. Getting together at UCLA or the Summers team, what benefits have you seen from that? I um, mean, a lot. Just being able to know different guys and know the new guys we have on our team a little better than, than last year. Um, see progression in, in, in people game. Um, and, and just being together as a team is always good for us to do in the summer. Uh, Russ, what have you seen from Cameron? Just what part of his game has really stood out in these first few months that you've been with him? Um, I haven't been with him much. I've been traveling a little bit and doing the other things, but um, me just kind of seeing um, film and just seeing him watch him play just a little bit. Um, he's very poised and, um, and he, he knows how to play the game and, and knows how to play that position. Russell, statistically uh, last year was historic in many ways for you. Did you reflect at all or did you wipe it from your memory because you guys fell short of the playoffs? Um, I reflect a little bit. I always reflect uh, just to see where I can get better um, and I definitely was able to kind of go back and look at different things I was able to do, um, and a lot of different things I could do better. Um, but I was I was definitely um, reflected on on last year. And did you surprise yourself with some of the things 
surprise. I wouldn't say surprise. Um, but some stuff I'm not, I don't know what I'm capable of doing unless I'm put in a situation to do it to, to help my team win. So um, that's kind of the mindset I take, I mean, to kind of do whatever it takes for, to help us win. Um, if we're shorter numbers and we're shorter guys, I just try to do other things or do whatever it takes to help us win. Uh, Russ, your thoughts on the assistant coaches, Maurice Cheeks, Matty Williams, and Anthony Grant? Uh, good guys. All those are good guys. All those guys is obviously successful. Cheeks has been here before. Um, he's been the head coach, and Anthony was, was successful as well. Um, it's, it's good to to be able to um, get to see those guys and kind of see you know what they're made of and see how they can help us. You know, Russell, you're a married man now. Do you feel older? No. Being married? No, no I'm good. <laughs> Did I talk to him? No, I didn't talk to him. No. Russell, last week Sam uh, mentioned Cameron Payne, how shocked he was, how little attention he has been getting. What are your thoughts on Cameron Payne? Little attention, like what do you mean? Just had for a guy who was drafted in the lottery, Sam said he was a little surprised how little attention he's been getting. Oh, um, um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what you... Have you analyzed his game at all? Oh, yeah, I mean, no, I haven't analyzed it, no. <laughs> but, We're working uh, out with him, anything like that? No, nah, I mean, this summer, man, I was busy. Um, I was busy doing other things and, you know, doing uh, resting and, and kind of just staying away from things. But me just getting back here um, and kind of seeing him, like I said before, he's a, he's a poorest guy, and um, I think he'd be ready to play. Have you gotten a, uh, any glimpse of what uh, Billy's style will be or offense, defense, hop, any change, anything like that? Uh, no. Well, I mean, once we start practicing and figure out the group of guys we have and, and figure out what's, what, bet, what best fits us, um, I think we'll go from there. Russ, um, over USA Basketball, the mini camp, um, what kind of shape would you say KD's in? You know, obviously you know how he plays. Can you, can you just talk about what you've seen in his progression? I think he's in great shape. I think he's fine. Um, shape won't be a problem. Just get him getting back to the groove of things and him finding his rhythm uh, is, is the most important part, especially coming back from any injury. you got to find a way to get your rhythm back and find a way to, to kind of um, get back into the groove of things. Last question. Yeah, Russell, it, it seems like a long time. It's only been one year, but it seems like a long time since you guys have been fully healthy. Are you looking forward to getting back and you got Serge healthy, Durant healthy, everybody ready to go. You went so long without any injuries, then you've been cursed by him. Is it going to be like a welcome relief to have everybody back? I mean, it's definitely um, a relief to be able to, to get everybody in full strength, especially to start a training camp um, and kind of get everybody healthy. Um, it's something that, as you know, you can't take for granted to be able to have a full team um, that's healthy, especially throughout the whole 82-game season. Um, it's important. And I'm just happy to kind of get back and kind of get get back and get everybody going.